Hi, Jennifer Salter with eXp Realty, and today we are going to look at how to add a Google Calendar to KB Core. And we'll talk a little bit about the purpose and why you would want to do that to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. Okay. So right now you're looking at the KB Core dashboard. Just go to KB Core, log in, and you'll be brought up to this page. Now right here, you're gonna see the link for the calendar. Go ahead and press on calendar, and you're gonna have two options to connect your um, calendar. So we're gonna connect with a Gmail account. It's gonna have me log in and approve it through Google. I'm going to choose the account that has the calendar I want to put on here. I'm going to allow. From here, it's going to ask me, it says the sync is off. So I'm going to go ahead under calendar because it popped up the window and I'm going to allow it to sync with my KB Core calendar. I'm not going to sync my contacts. That's for a different video, but I'm going to save my settings from here. And then I'm going to refresh the page. It's going to bring me back to my dashboard. And once it does, we are going to click on calendars and make sure everything's connected correctly. And there it is. Now, why is this so beneficial to have? So this calendar um, basically shows whatever events for, for today, you can see what I have going on. But what's really good is you can go ahead and assign tasks. You can assign tasks to individual contacts that you have in KB Core, or you can connect it to a smart campaign. So for instance, if you have a seller campaign, and one of the steps that you do is creating a CMA um, and sending it to them, you might want to do a follow-up that will say, call them and see what they thought of the CMA that you gave them and try setting up a more formal appointment. So there's a few ways to do this. Number one, I can go ahead over to my contacts and I'm going to click on my name because I always recommend agents to have their own contact in KB Core. That way you can see what campaigns look like when it comes through to your email. So I'm going to start entering my name. And then from there, I'm gonna create a task. So I'm going to go over to more actions. And I'm going to, under more actions, create add task. So today is August 2nd, and I'm going to create a task for today. And I'm going to create it so that it shows up on my schedule at 11 o'clock. And the title is going to be Call to Ask About CMA Report. So I can set the appointment. I'm going to add the task. So now that I've added the task, let's see that it went over to my calendar. So I'm going to X out of this, which is going to bring me back to my contact list. Let's go back to the dashboard. That's your home page for KB Core. I'm going to click on the calendar just to make sure it is there. And so as you see that under Wednesday at 11 o'clock, it shows Jennifer Salter. When I click on it, it'll give me all the information. So that is one benefit. Now let's look at how you can add tasks to already created campaigns. That way tasks will be added automatically, not manually, so that you'll be able to keep better control of your leads and make sure that you're getting in touch with them at certain points in time. So we're gonna go over to marketing, go to smart campaigns. Now I've already done this for one of my campaigns. I'm gonna click on, um, Actually, I did it for my sellers. So let me just go to my seller campaign. And let me see where we can insert another seller campaign 2020 or 2023. Okay. 
So when I click on it, it's going to bring up all my contacts for that smart campaign that I created. So every seller who comes to KB Core has an automation and something going out for 200 days. Now, I already added um, a task, but we're going to do it again. So add action. And we're going to add a task. And so the task is going to be call about CMA report. Try to schedule the appointment. And what we're going to do, it's going to ask you when you want this action to happen. So I'm going to want this action to happen four days after. So let me go ahead and do that four days. And I'm going to save it. So now what that means is when you have a new lead that comes through as a seller, your automations will begin. And on day four, you will see a note on your calendar that's connected to KV Core reminding you that you need to give them a call, ask them how they liked their estimated home worth CMA, and then ask for the appointment so that you can hone in and give them a more accurate estimate and discuss listing their home. I hope this video was helpful, but adding KB Core calendar to your KB Core is amazing and very helpful with staying on top of your list. Thanks for visiting. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe to see more videos related to all things real estate.